it is bench time. I promised we'd do this. Um, my last uh, flight video, we talked about bi-directional D-shot, RPM filtering, and many of the new settings in Beta Flight 4.1. Make sure we meet that phone. Uh, what I want to show is when I did my video, I had development version of Beta Flight 4.1 for my flight controller and I also had development version of uh, the VL Heli 32 um, and I had to make a custom hex file and install all that but now that since the video and I think it was within a week of me making the video I think I posted it and, and that weekend they came out with the official releases but they are all official now so what I would like to do is put all the official release for both my ESC software and my flight controller software so I have the official stuff on there. We'll do some data dumps and back up everything and update it. And I'll, I'll show you my process. So let's get to it, the fun stuff. Um, as I mentioned in uh, the video, the flight video, you need to make sure that your first thing, that your ESC support bi-directional D-Shot. Not all of them do. I had one that did, one that didn't. Typhoon 32 did not. According to the GitHub articles, there's some workarounds, um, but you have to do something with mapping output four on your flight controller. I didn't even want to get into that, but I tried it and I couldn't get, uh, I couldn't even actually get the D shot version to install, to, to read properly installed, but when you read setup, it didn't read the ESCs properly. So that's what we're working on today. iFlight. It's the twin G, twin gyro. They call it the, uh, it's a F7. They call it the 6X. It's a very nice, I bought it as a stack. So I've got the 50 amp, four in one ESC. That one has been great. And the TVS source one frame. So let's get to it. I have my laptop here because I just want to go into beta flight and just do a, a dump. We shouldn't need our radio for a little while because when I do all the D shot and all that, I probably won't have the radio powered on. We don't need to talk to the to the radio. So, but let's look at our data. Plugged in. Let's start our media capture. Follow along everything I'm doing. And I made sure that I have the latest version. I'm online, it does an automatic check. But we're on 10.6.0, beta flight configurator as of the time making this video. Connect up. My target is EF7, EX F7 22 Dual. That's the name of my flight controller. And let's see what build we're on. Just says 410, but you can get the exact. Let's go into CLI. First thing I'm going to do is a status Just to see what everything. My temp is already getting a little warm. And then I'm going to do a dump. And now that all of that is executed, I'm going to copy all of it. I like putting the status in there too so I can see that. So I'll copy everything after my status command. And I have a folder on my desktop called Drone where I do all my tuning. There's my R1. I'm going to tune for one. And I'm going to make another folder because this we're going to call official. Because everything I've been doing in here data dumps you can see my hex file hex files not in there but the hex file I built oh it's under my downloads I have another I have a BL heli in downloads and that's where my iFlight BL 32 4 in 1 multi hex file that's the one I built manually but we shouldn't have to do that now that everything is official so, 
I'm going to make that, that dump and that folder I made official. I'm just going to make a text file. Text document, and I'll call it BF410 official. Oh, no, no. This is my dump. So this is the um, pre official dump. Open that. I put a couple returns in there at the top to make some blank lines and paste. And there we are. There's our data from our existing release. And what I like to look at here at the top, you've got your version info. And you only get this when you do a data dump, is you actually get your version and the date. See, this was the version released on October 12, 19. So, now that we have that, let's actually close that and save it. So we have it saved. And I'm going to open it back up. Because what I do is then go compare some of these. So now let's go back into beta flight. I have that complete. Anything I need to save, I'm just going to take, even though all that data is in there, I'm just going to take a couple screenshots of current PID screen, so I'll do alt print screen, the old school method, and I just go into paint, and I paste it, and I do a save as, JPEG, I'm going to put it in that same folder, desktop drone, R1, tune, 41 official, and I'll just call that PIDs, Filters are what I'm most concerned about, so I'll make sure I get a good print screen of my filters. Paste that. Save as a JPEG to the same spot. We'll call that filters pre. I don't think that I need, I have everything else by memory, and I have other screenshots too, so I don't think I need any of this other my power, my config, I know my config inside now, reverse motors, I'm running 4K, 4K on my RPM filtering just to make sure everything is safe, I haven't tested past that yet, um, everything's running great there. All that's pretty basic. My ports. Take a screenshot of my ports because I have my ESC on the iFlight. That um, 4-in-1 ESC RX5 is your ESC sensor. So you have to set sensor input ESC on your 5. And I have my Crossfire soldered into RX2. Well, URT2, the RX and TX. Crossfire takes both, so I'm going to print screen that. I know it, but just in case, and I have other screenshots, but always better to be safe. And I can always go back with that data dump. So this is ports pre. Save that. I think we're good there. So before, I'm going to actually disconnect. Kill that, let that cool off for a sec. Is we need to talk about BL Heli. So let us plug back in. For BL Heli, you need power. So we're plugged in. We will file up, fire up BL Heli Suite 32. It is up and running. We're going to power up. And no, I don't have my radio on, but we're USB. Okay. Let's look at our, we have a COM5. That should be us. Let's do a connect. Connected. Read setup. 
One, two, three, four. There they are. So I am on version 32.66, was which at the time was the development version for bidirectional D shot. And I had to manually create that. So I have Okay, let's just look at, yeah, like ESC1 is reversed, ESC2 is normal, 3 is reversed, 4 is normal. So 1 and 3 are reversed, 2 and 4 are normal, which is typically how it would make sense. So let's just make sure we write that down. 1 and 3 are reversed. Check one is reversed, two is reversed. From all on, notice how my frequency is 48 megahertz. My timing, I might bump that up. It was on default. I did not change anything else from default. Everything else is the same. No music, no, no custom tones and bi-directional D-shot. Don't do it. So, Let's see what's out there. Flash BL Heli. 32.7, look at that. So I am behind. Let's flash it. Gonna grab that one. I want to flash to all. There we go. Are you ready? Moment of truth. Do it. Do it. So it's going to do them one at a time. We're flashing ESC number one right now. That's why I turn all those power and everything down. Otherwise, my video would be transmitting and get hot. So everything should be running cool right now. I'm not going to touch anything and interrupt this flash process. Flashing is very delicate. Don't mess it up. Okay. Successful on ESC one. Right to, do you want to write current setting? That's if you want to write the existing setting. I'm going to say no. Now, we're ready to go to the next ESC, number two. Yep. Yep. I like to do that. I, I don't rewrite the setting over the ESC because I want it left default, and then I'm going to go, go change, manipulate. I don't want something left over from me tweaking on that ESC previously to go with a new one. It's much scarier when you have to build your own, but it still it wasn't that bad. I was actually hoping, don't write, no. Nope. I did want to show you guys that, how to manually build your, your own ESC flash file. It was fun. It was cool. Okay. Three is done. On number four, flash number four. All right. No. Nope. So we should be complete. One, two, three, four. They all look happy. They all show D shot. Zero bad frames. We did a read setup. Now what I want to do. We have to set motor direction number one is reversed. And we're going to write that setup. Let's see how to do that. You just highlight the one you want. So right now it's not looking at any ESCs. I'm going to highlight number three. It also shows up here. ESC three, number three is what we're currently looking at. Motor direction. Just toggle it to reversed. It doesn't do anything else besides. Oh, yeah, it does. Bidirectional D, 3D, 3D reversed, soft, interesting. Yeah. I'm just going to set it to reversed and leave it at that. Right setup. Cool. Let's turn them off. Now, let's do a read setup. We've got to highlight them all. Read setup. Check. We're 
good. Okay. Let's disconnect. It's telling us there's a mandatory restart for the ESC after doing any changes. That's okay. It's going to reboot the flight controller. We're going to close. We're now that's it. As far as flashing, just make sure your motor directions are are the are correct, and we're going to test that here. I'm going to unplug. Let's let things cool down. Battery first is unplugged. Unplug the flight controller. Everything's powered down, like that warning said. Now, first thing, I'm going to make sure double check all my motor directions are correct, and. Well, let's see. No, I'm going to flash beta flight first. That's the first thing I'm going to do before I even mess with any because to check your motors, you, you either have to plug in an arm and, and arm with your radio or go into beta flight and spin up your motors. But I don't want to do either one of those yet because I want to update beta flight first. I'm going to take a break here, so I'm going to get something to eat. <laughs>